We appear to be live. Well, well, hello, everybody. I'm what you call uh, old David Crosby. I'm old David Crosby now, and we are here. Uh, we're here at Trench Digger Studios, and uh, the, the kindness of Trench Digger has allowed me to uh, sell my new album and uh, try and reclaim some of my rights, because uh, apparently, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Roger McGuinn seems to think he wrote all of the bird songs, and uh, actually, I I wrote a few. Um, but before I get into my beef with Mr. McGuinn, I'd like to also talk about uh, Mr. Stephen Stills. And um, Mr. Stephen Stills ain't got nothing on me, okay? Because I'm I'm on I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like young David Crosby looked fat, but this is new old David Crosby, okay? Old David Crosby feeling good, all right? I'm on a new diet plan, and it is the best. It is called Seven Minutes to Fit. And you, too, you, too, can can join David Crosby's exercise plan. Um, it involves a number of pharmaceuticals, lots of pharmaceuticals. And uh, you, uh, you, get, you get like this beautiful feeling I get right now. Steven Seals is a very fat man. Very fat. And I'm so much better off. And I wish Steve would listen to me. I wish he'd give me a call. I could give him the treatment. Um, but, you know, you know, Steve. Anyway, he wrote what he wrote. I wrote what I wrote. Now, my next beef is with Roger McGuinn. Uh, Roger McGuinn thinks that he... Uh, well, let me in on a little secret here. Roger used to be named Jim. Did you know that? Jim was Roger's name. Yeah, yeah. It's not Roger. So, uh, but you know, we're we're on good terms. We wish each other Merry Christmas. He's looking a little heavy too. I mean, he's always been skinny. He's, you know, relatively speaking, skinny. But he's, you know, compared to me. David Crosby, old David Crosby. I'm not talking young David Crosby. I'm talking old David Crosby here, okay? Young David Crosby was a little heavy, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, not gonna miss that. So, uh, anyway, part of my uh, reclamation of uh, rights and uh, goodness, I, th I thought we'd uh, play a little song here that actually neither of us wrote, but, uh, you know, I could have written it. Um, I meant to write it. And <laughs> I smoked a joint that day instead. So my friend Bobby Zimmerman wrote it. You might know him as Bob Dylan. And uh, it's in key of A and it starts a little something like this.
that goes out to the Kennedys. Thank you, and welcome to the Peasant Revolution Band Variety Hour. That's right. Oh, the peasants. Yes. Well. Oh, it's great to be here. New Year special. What? Gentlemen, my my beautiful wife Jamila. are back and we might be live we might not be there are uh, people out there I'm out there rich is here in the that's right in the zoom universe and Steve Sabila is here in the studio and I'm what am I looking for I want to oh I need to I need to stop that real quick oh I see what's going on yeah we're gonna see if our sounds working that's what we're gonna find out in a second here um, and uh, yeah uh, I hope all is good in the universe yeah it appears something is going out there and now we're gonna get that delay and I need to uh, that's right looking for some software to stop the macros stop the macros being blocked out by Zoom. Oh, if it's not one thing, it's another. Um, oh, I see. Get that. Okay, hang on a second. I'm dealing with too many things. Da da da. As usual, uh, happy holidays, everybody. And uh, as soon as I get back to some sense of control here, uh, I will do it. And this program. There you are. Look at that. It's amazing. It is amazing how a, a computer uh, filters will get you every time. Or tabs, right? You have too many tabs. Mm. Tabs open. Uh, like right now, I can't even see what we're doing. This is insane. Ah, uh, brutal. Here we are. I, I think this should be, uh, we should be back now. How, how is everyone? Uh, welcome. I am Jeff Dodge. This is Steve Sabila behind me. And uh, and Rich Reese on the uh, that's right on the phone in. Uh, oh yeah, and I better mute our uh, our check screen. That's gonna drive me nuts. Oh boy, let's just close that guy out. We have a oh we have a notification. I missed it. Let's let's see if we can interact with uh, the live YouTube. Oh, that'd be pretty wild. Isn't that, this like be like the first time we've done it, I think, successfully. So, hey, YouTube, and if anyone out there's still uh, got a Propaganda 5, 
on board with things. He's, uh, I'd love to see if Propaganda Live, Propaganda Live was his name. This YouTube dude, I, I was so into him and he's, he's gone. He was one of our subscribers, so I, I get concerned oh. about that kind of thing. Uh, Wait, it, that was, that's not Joey Molland, is it? Uh, do you think it's Joey posing and, I, and doing like a troll account, perhaps? It could be. I think he was pretty angry that that concert sounded so much better than any gig he played since Tommy died, right? So, well, you know, uh, uh, what's his face? Bob Jackson from the uh, UK version of Badfinger, right? He's uh, right. He was the key. He was the piano player, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, and he is. Uh, I have it on good authority. He is. Uh, um, he has seen our work and and uh, passed it on to. Uh, uh, what's his face? The original bass player from the Ivies, actually, Ron Griffith. Oh, so Ron Griffith. Oh, that's interesting. Saw all of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Well, some of us think that's tremendous. Yeah. Oh, and I see. We have all sorts of crazy uh, rendering issues. It appears. I'm not sure what's going. Rendering. On. Well, I. You know, we have a, we have a rendering plant here over in Kenton. What do you render in Kenton? I guess one of those fat rendering things, and it just smells great. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, don't get me started. Anyway, there's super low air pressure tonight, so I'm stupid. Like, I don't have, I can't multitask, I can't do any of this. Well, uh, did you do anything for the uh, the holidays? Oh, sure, went down to see the family. Mm-hmm. How how are they and, doing? Is how was uh, you were in Salem then or in Eugene? No, I was in Salem, the uh, state of Oregon's crapital shitty. Yeah, and uh, we had a pretty reasonable holiday, I would say. Um, how about yourself? What did you and uh, Jamila do? Well, we uh, I love the shot of these protected. Okay, okay. Anyways, they. Uh, Jamil and I hung out with my family, my dad and my mom, at the same thing at Tre what? My, my sister Teresa's. Can you believe that? Oh, yeah, you're kidding. Yeah. You guys, you all went to Hawaii? No, we didn't go to Hawaii. We went to Scapoose, close. Scapoose. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's just as good as Hawaii. It, they're, they're very similar, and a lot of people don't know that, but there's a lot of similarities with Hawaii and Scapoose. Um, namely dodge sisters but uh the uh yeah no it was really fun and my aunt janet came out and and she's we were up at her place for her 80th birthday recently so, oh terrific um the family's doing well you know and uh it's it's strange yes it's strange as a friend of mine likes to say yeah, um, right right but uh uh dad and i it's it's really fun now that w i'm not working for him anymore it's it's strange sure. how that's like uh a lot more relaxing for some reason so i don't know yeah but, uh, but now you I'm know i was for myself uh, now i'm the stress case you know so right i was cruising around in the shit the other day and uh made my way down uh, rosa parks uh-huh and i i happened to honk while going by stews <laughs> and uh that I didn't see uh, the, I didn't see the triumph. I figured he'd be out whipping shitties in the triumph or something. Why? Well, but you, uh, that kind of behavior now might end up with like a weird red laser on you before you know it. So you have to be careful. Well, that's a that possibility. Yeah. yeah. It's like who's honking? Yes. Who's honking? <laughs> Cranky old man. And I know where it comes from because I'm 52 now. For crying out loud, mm -hmm. five two. And I feel the crank coming on. I just feel, you know, my na mm -hmm. my neighbors, pedestrians. No one can do anything right. It's like, ah, yeah, I'm. Well, it's not like when I was younger. You know, you, like you constantly mm -hmm. see yourself saying that, and it's it's unfortunate, but uh, happens to everybody at some point. Well, listen, we uh, are waiting. Do we don't have any more? Uh, I was hoping our producer would maybe be dropping by. He is on the road. And we'll see. We'll we'll hold out, but I okay. wanted to wanted to plug it if I can uh, find where I dropped it. Oh, here it is. Uh, once again, uh, he dropped this on us before earlier. Uh, 
blame it blame it on the uh blame it on the gamma ray by our our technical producer our technical director and and associate producer david craig is uh on the road oh yeah he's on the road where is he well i i last i heard he was on he was in colorado and he was going to try and get in on this meeting. So everybody should, if we see any, admit our TD. We should make sure we okay. pay attention to that. Could happen anytime. But he might be on Colorado time. He's heading to Salt Lake City. I don't know if they have a different time schedule. Um, is Col- Mountain, yeah, the- Mountain and Pacific, they're all on Mountain there, aren't they? Isn't that right? Yeah, they're all on Mountain time. That is... Uh, so expertise that only a former uh, former worker of the uh, AAA that's right AAA um, you know which is a great auto club but uh, yeah yeah also I know that from being in broadcast and also aviation so that's right that's right oh my yeah. goodness we should talk about uh, airplanes when we get back but for right now sure we got to pay some bills. We're going to do that with uh, some uh, some ads. Um, trying something different here. This that is- reminds me. Yes. You're setting a good example here. It's like I used to tell one of our mutual friends when they lived at my house. I was like, you got to pay me your rent before you buy weed. Please. And uh, That's I never got, never got him to do that. Never got him to do that. But it was all right. We had a great time. And... Uh, now we're in the future. In the, so. the future is now, uh, and the future is, we're going to pay some bills. But this is actually, this is fun. This is an ad from 2019. An ad, oh, okay. ad block 2019. So let's see what they say. And it, You know, what an innocent just time. sitting back, kicking back, really, during this holiday season and just enjoying some Saffer Brothers downtown blend, Taste City Coffee. And I will tell you that uh, just because you might have a little bit more time when you have the holidays and you have time off, you know, to uh, try to relax and put your feet up and uh, catch your breath. But remember, Saffron Brothers Downtown Blend Taste City Coffee is a good coffee any time of year. Doesn't have to be just the holidays. Uh, Maybe you'll enjoy it a little bit more because you're just going to be like hanging out maybe you got some downtime you feel like you don't have to be anywhere um and you can just relax and enjoy a cup of Zaffer brothers down town blend taste city coffee it's always good you're gonna love it i'm gonna tell you next to sports politics is my favorite thing it's a game you think it's a game? They're not playing. They're going to win. Jesus. They're going to try right to win. There. Your side, whatever you believe in, your political beliefs, those are important too. You're going to win. You're going to do everything in your power. You're going to vote. You're going to... Yeah. Red's Garage. We fix... Broken hose, smashed windshield, we fix, no problem, be back Tuesday, fix then, no, no job too small, we fix, your car, our car, we take care, no problem, no problem, we fix. Broken headlight, broken trunk, carburetor, we fix. No problem, no problem. Ready Tuesday, ready Tuesday, you come back. No problem. Red's Garage, 349 Volga Avenue. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Fluff cat. We're back. We're back. And I need to uh, get control of my switcher, which is camera 
too, I think, is where I want to live. If I could stop the macro and... No. There we are. All right. All right. Oh, and Rich is back. How That's right. Every, everything okay, boss? Me, uh, oh, that's a better tab management, I think. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, there we go. So now we can all kind of interact. That's much better. Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, welcome to the uh, Peasant Revolution Band Variety Hour. I am uh, I'm your host, Jeff Dodge, and we are uh, doing a, a holiday special experiment for you. Um We've had uh, lots of guests sign up over the years, and uh, sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. It's no problem. It's, it's a pleasure that anyone would even consider doing it for a minute. Um, but it kind of, you know, sometimes I get nostalgic, and I miss the days when guests would regularly show up. And... Uh, um, Actually, there never was. That day was in high school, I think. Right? Do you guys remember that? High school? Oh, sure. You would invite someone somewhere, and they actually show up. And, and somewhere around 1995, that started to die off pretty heavily. I think because the cell phones started to come in. Like, I wait, found uh, it was about 2003 with texting. Uh-huh. The texting really killed it because if you're going to cancel on somebody, you can just text them. And you don't even have to talk to them. Right, and I I, I abuse texting privileges all the time because it's that's also I think where ghosting comes from, isn't it? Oh sure. Um, not that I would ghost anyone ever, of course, but. Well, you know, I I once ghosted someone. Uh, and I, I hate thinking about it, uh, but I, you know, what the hell? It's uh, the middle of our show. It's nine thirty, and uh, in honor of ghosting, um, this chick I ghosted, she married me. Oh I man! I might have ghosted her at Seaside. There was it Seaside or it was the seashore? It was somewhere at the. The seashore. I, why does that ring a bell? It's such a the seashore. I, Thank you. 
commercial from 2020. Ooh, Ooh. that's a classic era. Worston's Pizza is everything you love about pizza. It starts with our golden crust. Of course, you're gonna want cheese on that. Then, it's whatever toppings you want. Pepperoni, always a favorite. How about the green peppers? You want something blue? No one ever put anything blue on a pizza, but it's colorful. Try the roasted garlic. And don't forget the black olives. We make them the way you want them. Worston's Pizza, Italian by marriage. It's Sid, coming at you from the home studio. Can't even bother to turn off the uh, political advertisements, but, um, you know, it's Saffer Brothers Downtown Blend, Taste of City Coffee. Uh, seriously, uh, it's going to get you through anything. It's going to get you through elections, pandemics. Uh, they keep it, as long as they keep making it, uh, it's going to be what you need to get through anything, man, just to get through life. Uh, it's Saffer Brothers, Downtown Blend, Taste City Coffee. It's always good. You're going to love it, and you're going to need it. Need more of it. Keep drinking it, and um, keep doing everything you're doing. You're just just, just trying to get through the day, and that, that's all right. It's, uh, it's not as bleak as it seems, but... Um, Saffer Brothers is going to help you out. We are back. We are back live. You are watching the Peasant Revolution Band Variety Hour. I'm your host, Jeff Dodge. Thank you for joining us this special uh, holiday. This is a uh, holiday season. That's Stephen Sabila on the bass guitar. I'm Ryan. That's here. right. And then we have, of course, Rich Reese, our illustrious right. drummer and co-host of the show. Uh, it's great to be back, Rich. What? Uh, yeah. You you've been traveling a bit. Why don't you? Did you? Uh, you did we talk to you since Iceland? What right. Happened? So yeah, I was actually I was in Amsterdam at our last show. So I guess that was four weeks ago. Did you go to Iceland or Amsterdam or both? Uh, no, I went to Barcelona, but I had to go through Amsterdam both oh, directions. So it was okay. a big big fat layover on the way back. And uh, I have a lesson for the kids out there Yeah, that I learned on this trip. So, you know, I was in Amsterdam. I'm flying back. It was about a 10-hour flight. And I thought, you know, it would be really nice to just get good and high for this flight because that will kill like half the time, especially for me because I have no tolerance. And yeah. at the last that, second, is I that just... really safe to do in Amsterdam, though? I don't. Well, I know. What if you get in trouble, right? But uh, I decided I felt so good overall. I didn't want to do it at the last minute. I was like, you know, with edibles, you never know, right? You never know how it's going to make you feel. So I decided to bag it. And it turns out it's a good thing I did that because I sat next to our governor elect for the entire flight. That's correct. I, I remember uh, seeing that uh, uh, post. And so what were they, were, was she, uh, 
doing some business for Oregon or no? Well, you know, vacationing, she's, celebrating. They were, I, I think, imagine. I think, it, yeah, they were celebrating and probably kind of their last uh, vacation in anonymity. So, well, uh, I had a nice chat with them. That's always interesting. Did you, you guys were next to each other the whole flight or just briefly? Yeah, they were. They were right across the aisle from me. Even though, like, if we were legislators, we would be on the same side of the aisle. And I'm sure but, you, um, you were telling them all about the Peasant Revolution Band Variety Hour and how they'd be did such a, a great... I uh, sure did. Well, you know, they're big They're they're big into Peasant Revolution. They love Peasant Revolution Band. They love Sea Lion Caves. All right. All right. Um, right. And, uh, of course, my, my day job... I know the Sea Lion Caves was a big agenda item for you um, to get to express to her, but did you happen to mention the uh, Portland uh, Youth uh, Orchestra that, that came from the Sagebrush Orchestra from my family from Eastern Oregon? We started the right. Youth well, no, I told her about modern. If, if you went Cove over Portland Youth Symphony, I understand, but sure. You know, no, I told her about hey, modern obviously day the Peasant stew. Revolution Band Variety Hour was top of the agenda list, I'm sure. Well, she actually recognized me from these little broadcasts. Oh, really? I, I was really? very yeah. So I was very flattered uh, for that. You know, nice people, by the way. They're like a real couple. They're not some bullshit political power couple or anything. Like really nice people having a very like they're they're really like actually together. I'd say like you and Jamila or Steve and Margaret. So I really was delighted to see that they're they're real people well you know so. we met her when uh she campaigned to, at our house on wasco when we lived in the did you ever oh. know me when we lived off northeast wasco but I, oh that's a little before my time I'm curious if her neighborhood i she seems like a laurelhurst neighbory type no, no she lives in kenton oh she's in kenton with you oh yeah she was she was our uh she was our state rep up until this cycle Oh, well, you know, she and, uh, was near Wasco at one point. Cause well, she, that's well, interesting. She, she hoofed it in, uh, I think it was her first run, actually. I think that's when we met. Okay. I had no I idea you were on Wasco. Been, like the house back in 2006 or something, maybe? 2004. Okay. Well, I lived with uh, Andrew before I knew you, too, right? Oh, really? Okay, yeah, yeah. sure, sure. So I know Kenton. I spent two years in Kenton. Uh, before the historic Kenton, before Kenton was hip, I was there. I was right. there helping build the community by um, parking a van in the same place that didn't work, and the community really did not like that. And so I was like, "Sure, I was like, oh, you don't like that? Get ready. Wait till you see what's coming." So I'm. J I felt like I helped educate them, you know, about proper. Uh, oh, totally. Neighborhood totally. etiquette. So and. Here we are. Yeah, you know it's it's uh, it's tough to get that neighborhood stuff across to people. I was just lecturing somebody today on it, and uh, they didn't get it. So, well, the Alberta but, the Alberta Alley is about to open soon too. Uh, have, oh, what do you do about that? You you haven't been by here in a while in in the flat. No, and uh, across the street from the Alberta Rose, there's a whole like complex that's. Uh, it looks like there's gonna be about five shops, and uh, oh, in an under this... area where I think they mm -hmm. could host bands that could be like you know, maybe we can make some cash. Right. I'm just right. I'm so always looking it... for a grift, right? It's, uh, yeah, that's right. That's you know, you're all about the grind. It's all about all about the grind. grind. Yeah. You work hard. Uh... Work smart. <laughs> Is this the little alley where Jamila used to be a partner in that uh, nonprofit gallery? No, no, it's it... it's not. That's, oh. that's still going. That's that's the whole brick area. Okay. That, um, I'd say the Irish okay. kind of took that over a bit now. They're the pros. Oh. Good God, don't get me started on them. Oh, I know. But Oh, and there's an Ethiopian restaurant that opened up in the corner restaurant where uh, Joe was going to do that Alberta Rose restaurant. It's uh, right across uh, the street. Right. So... I'm talking like the uh, uh, across the other corner, like in our Badfinger movie. Um, if anyone's seen the uh, Baby Blue Badfinger movie that we always reference, mm -hmm. uh, there's a fire at the opening where there's a fire truck. Right. It's that right in front of that is now okay. the new transformed Alberta Alley. I'm looking forward to it. It should be pretty fun.
Terrific. Well, there is a future then. I plan on uh, being out there every, like, eight hours a day with my acoustic doing this thing. Just saying, you know, okay. give me money. I'll be like, no, we hate you. Your voice is awful. And I'll be like, well, give, could, me, give well, me more money, right? Yeah, more money, better voice. Or, or I'll stands just go the away. You give me money, I'll go away and quit singing. It's a big part of my plan, so... Right. It's kind of a different thing because usually people get paid to sing. I'm 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 hoping to start a thing where I get paid not to sing. Is sort of what I'm looking for. So, um, but you know, we it's you got to be creative these days. Uh, anything for a buck? You know, I was thinking. That's right. Steve, you were a <clears throat> you were a math major, and uh, I had a mathematical <laughs> equation i was wondering about that like uh well jamila and i were talking earlier today about the origins of uh religion and god and earth and i don't want to get too heavy on everyone but like good uh, but i'm going to anyway because i'm irish okay. and for just for the holiday season anyway i i was wondering like I seem to recall, Rich, did you grow up with any kind of Christian upbringing or, or oh my god, my story? folks <laughs> we went to we attended evangelical churches but we weren't really into it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well i am trying to remember the adam and eve story and for some reason i keep thinking adam was uh tempted by the snake first at the tree of knowledge right? and he said no and then eve was tempted and she said yes but i'm wondering if it's a weird butterfly effect where I've just programmed that into my head and that was never the origin story at all. Did you ever hear that one? Well, I, you know, I, there was a time when I would have known that stuff pretty well and thank God I flushed most of that out of my head. Um, I mean, the old you're not really even supposed to take the Old Testament that seriously, right? So I take um, it. I think we should take it more seriously than we ever have. I think that's kind of the okay. misnomer. You know, eye for an eye. Interesting. We should literally transform eyeballs so that if someone f screwed you over, you can pluck their eyeball out. And we have the technology okay. and put their eye into your eye socket and then give them yours. In okay. My, in my case, it would be a really bad deal for the fucker that offended me. He'd get one. Surely. One eye would be basically blind. He'd be screwed. What I could do with one good eye, I could like wear a patch, run for House of Representatives as a Republican, perhaps. But uh, that's right. The, the uh, point I was making was, Steve, if you were going to uh, put the Adam and Eve uh, wisdom of the tree of wisdom into a mathematical equation, do you do you know what kind of equation that would be? Is there is there a, a formula for it or some kind of math that would make sense on such a thing? I think you've stumbled onto the thing with the, the eye, you know, the phrase, you know, this is before there were shoes. And shoes, you yes. You don't know until you've walked a mile in another man's eyeball. Right. I don't know what That's I'm a... looking at. I'd be like, That's one eye might be like this. Beards, burning bush and stuff, you know. So that was the key. So... They, were tran they were doing the eyeball surgery in biblical times. And we can't do it now. That's see, this is the kind of thing that makes me crazy. You know, how much more technically sophisticated are we now? If you know the, if Moses and the, the Egyptians were, were doing eye surgeries and in, in, in before the, you know during the pyramids, it's insane. So uh, what I've noticed is that the number uh, with the, when you especially when you bring the pyramids in, the number six pops up a lot. Hmm. I'm just thinking, like, if you were to, like, if you were to take that, that number and uh, turn it upside down, it uh, kind of makes a nine or right. something like this. Yeah. <laughs> If the sun refused to shine, I don't mind. 
I don't mind If the mountains Fell in the sea Or let it be It ain't me That's a fun one. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, if six was nine, we're going to take a little quickie. And we'll be right back with you after this final message, which I think is from this year. This might be from Oh, this well, that's tremendous. Uh, yeah, ads for every year. Whatever year you've been following us, we've been putting an ad block. This is Luann, and, and I'm Rose Brandon's daughter, but I work over at the shop, uh, uh, Ear Massage. I uh, love giving a good ear massage. I think it's all uh, in the fingertip lotion that will make the, the ears feel really good, all the nerve endings, and um, just it's just a relaxing atmosphere. We are open uh, 24 hours. Um, if you get those late night cravings to get your ears massaged, just, just come on by. I uh, would love to have you. Uh, most of the people that just uh, they just can't stop telling us enough about how uh, good they feel. They just uh, they love it. They love it a lot because uh, it's really good for uh, beneficial for their health, um, for their brain health, their skin health. Because the ears, nobody is focused on ear massage. Treat your ears good, and you'll feel good. Boy, I tell you, we're just trying to get through some uh, commercials. You know, it's tough. And, um, yeah, I did one. And, uh, great recording, perfect, everything's great. Next one, 
You know, then I thought, need a break. Saffer Brothers, Downtown Blend, Taste of City Coffee. It's always good. When you need a break, you're going to have some coffee. Have a little more coffee. It'll get you through the day. It'll get you through the next day. It'll get you through the night. You know, you'll be nice and awake. And you can get through uh, all that other stuff you have to do, mostly, which is just like standing around and breathing and um, drinking coffee. You know, that's, that's, that's basically my schedule. But it's always Saffer Brothers, Downtown Blend, Taste of City Coffee, because it's always good. Uh, yeah, if you have some other stuff that you have to do, um, if you're a, a, a person who does the weather, you got to talk about weather, Saffer Brothers, it's always good. You're going to love it. Look good and let Jimmy Gimbler show you the way. He's got the finest silk, wool, satin, gabardine, and cotton blend suits available anywhere. It's off the rack and on your back. Look good for your high school reunion and your Uncle Dick's funeral. Stock up with our current sale. Buy two suits and get three free at Jimmy Gimler's Suit Rack. And, oh, we're back. Oh, thank you, dear, for getting me that beer from the Tree of Knowledge. For I might have refused it. And now I'm very satisfied. Uh, but speaking of which, the beer and the Tree of Knowledge, uh, you know, I, I hate to bring up things like this, but the um, state of the city of Portland is... Uh, well, it's an interesting state of mind, I suppose, depending on what uh, perspective you're coming from. Sure. Uh, but I like to crack a beer and complain about Portland because I feel like that's, you know, even when things were good, that's what we did here. So uh, right now they're not so good. And uh, I mostly look, I don't want to get into the weeds here or the, the weed. But uh, my point is that this mayor Wheeler, he's just, uh, he's just kind of out of control, and he's, he's not bringing it like he used to. I need more, I need more cowbell, you know what I mean? I need Mr. Wheeler to bring us more cowbell, if he could understand. Anyway, so I, and I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad you met Kotak, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I think we need to get we rid of Wheeler. Actually, and so my perspective is such. Hey, Jeff. Oh, my lovely wife Jamila is here in 2022 still. It's amazing. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Um, but yeah, what's hey. what's up, dear? Is hey. it got a problem or? Uh, no, no, no. Just uh, just say good night, Jeff. Oh, oh my goodness. How how quaint and fickle of me. I I should say good night. So. Uh, Happy holidays, happy new year to everybody out there, and uh, say good night, Jeff. Here we go. I'm a man of wealth and taste 
Good night, Peasant Revolution Band Variety Hour. All right, thanks everyone. Well, I think we did. I think we won. We guess we did it. Thank you.